Hello, I'm Father Frank McFarlane from the Boston Catholic Television Center, and I thank you for joining us today to pray the rosary. I'm standing at St. Mary's Church in Waltham. The church is 161 years old. It was built some 20 years before our Civil War. It sits very near the Charles River, and when it was built, this was the woods. And they put in factories, among which was the Waltham Watch Factory. And people came down from Canada, and even before the Irish famine, the Irish began to come, and they built this huge church. And I think so many people have prayed the rosary here, and it's such a gorgeous church with its paintings and all that it might be a nice and fitting place to talk to our Lord and Our Lady. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the reasons we chose this church to pray the rosary was its magnificent paintings that are all over the church and on the ceilings. And I just felt as we looked at the paintings, we could have our own thoughts about the events in the life of our Lord and Our Lady. But after we came here, we found that the joyful mysteries are in the paintings and the glorious mysteries, but not the sorrowful. So, for the sorrowful mysteries, we're going to have to kind of use our own imagination and picture the scene. And there's a lot of sorrow in the world, and so much of it is secret and hidden. It's within your heart, within your life, within the confines maybe of your environment. And there's so much suffering that we don't know about. So that Maybe it's appropriate that this church offered to poor, struggling people a joy and contentment of the good news that Christ came, burst into our humanity, and then had a share in his glory because there was so much suffering in their life they didn't need to picture it. I don't know. That's just a way of saying we can't show you too much sorrowing pictures in this church. I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm using some notes I made because I thought for a change and a different way to pray, what we might do is be casual. Place ourselves in the presence of our Lord and Our Lady 
ask for the outpouring of the Spirit, and then I might suggest that you put yourself in my position. You're a priest, you have to talk at the 9.30 Mass next Sunday, and you're going to talk on the agony in the garden. What would you say? Or your grandson, who's 15 years old, says, you know, what is this agony in the garden, and what's that mean to me? What would you say? And then I'm going to suggest that in each decade you might also say, well, how do I respond to that in prayer? And how would I make up one? I sat at the kitchen table very early this morning and jotted things down. And your thoughts are as good as mine. You can make up your own prayers, maybe even better than I, probably better than I. And you can make up sermons too. So let's take the first one, the agony in the garden. Thy will be done. How often you and I have to say that, not only to God, but to people in our lives. We have to surrender ourselves for the sake of another, and sometimes we have to bring our human will into concordance with the divine will, and that isn't easy. But when Jesus went through this, first of all, an angel came and consoled him. And maybe if we pray and really say, Thy will be done, an angel might not come, but the Lord might lift us up. Or you might have another one, how close we are. And the prayer might be just that. Lord, you went through this. You had to say, Thy will be done. Won't anyone watch with me? You know what it's like. You've come back in resurrection. Here you are with me. Just be with me as I struggle to say, Thy will be done. Prayer is that easy. Make it up. Talk to him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As a way of helping us to meditate and pray and think about the Lord, where we're saying, how would I preach a sermon on the scourging of the pillar? What would I say? What would I say to my grandson if he said, what does that mean to me? And, and how would I respond to that scourging in prayer? So 
Uh, first of all, there was the pain, the obvious pain of being scourged, the disgrace of it, disgrace of it. I was in a restaurant once, and I saw a woman slap her husband across the face. And the whole restaurant just stopped talking, and their mouths were open in astonishment. He was humiliated, and Jesus did that for you and me, humiliated, pain, everyone looking at him. That's love to take that in our place. Uh, recently in the paper in Boston, there was a, a young lad about 14 and he got caught in the crossfire between two drug dealers and he was shot and killed and he was innocent and the city was shocked. Jesus died as a criminal died in pain psychologically, emotionally, felt abandoned, distant from his father. And he was innocent and he did it for you and for me and he took the blame and um, that's love. How would we respond to that? Maybe something like this, I don't know. Uh, Jesus, I have my little pains and sorrows, humiliations and hurts. They're only reflections of what you went through. Help me to unite them with yours and just as your suffering worked for the redemption of others, maybe in some small way I might help in the redemption of others. You think what you'd say as we say the next ten Hail Marys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Uh, this huge church holds 1,200 people, and when it's filled and a liturgy is going on, it's warm, it's exciting, it's colorful, but it can be lonely and tomb-like when no one's around. 
And while we have no pictures and paintings to show you of the sorrowful mysteries, maybe just looking at the empty church, the sense of loneliness that came to Jesus as he stood there deserted by his friends, being condemned to death and no one to really speak for him, and no one on his side and abandoned and feeling alienated from everyone. That might be a thought you'd give in a sermon, but he's still taking the blame for us. There was a, a, a thing in the Boston Globe recently about a man who had been in jail for 18 years for murder. And then they found out he was innocent by DNA testing. And he was let loose and he was freed. And they said, you must be very bitter and you must be very angry. And he said, no, I want to be bigger than that and just get on with living and enjoy what I've been deprived of for so long. Jesus, in a sense, was the wrong man who went to jail. He took the blame for us, and that's so hard for us to comprehend. And it's almost like after we crucify him, he comes running after us and says, hey, I know you didn't mean it. I want to be your friend. I want to give you my spirit. That might be a sermon we can give, or another one um, uh, might be, uh, Jesus said, I came to do your will, Father. He said that the first time he, he started his public ministry. It was his first sermon, I have come to do your will. And he stands before Pilate, and he's crowned with thorns, and he repeats his commitment, I have come to do your will. How, uh, what prayer would you make up after that? Father, Jesus. I don't know what you're going to ask. I might have pains in the head, in the body. I might have to stumble. I might even be stretched on the cross or kneel down with responsibility. I don't know what you're going to ask of me, but I stand ready to do your will, and you'll be with me, help me, something like that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. I just have a couple of thoughts. How much longer I keep falling, I keep going. When will I ever reach the top? How much longer? Jesus comes back and walks with us. He puts his shoulder under the cross. And that leads into the second thought. If we let Jesus come in and carry the cross, it's two bearing the burden, and better than, it's better than one, and it doesn't hurt as much. And maybe a simple prayer, Jesus, be with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth sorrowful mystery of thought for a sermon might be, what's the thing that scares us the most, our greatest fear? Dying. Death. Jesus took it on, went through all that it entails to come back and say, it's the beginning. It isn't the end. And it isn't that bad. Or, you know, you have your moments of crucifixion and pain. Be a partner with me. Hang with me. Help me in my ongoing ministry. Those are just a couple of thoughts for sermons. And a prayer might be something like, I have my pain, I get depressed, I get lonely, I have a little taste of Calvary. I don't want to waste it, so I offer it up to you, Jesus, and it'll have infinite merit because it's mixed with you. Make up your own prayer. Think your own thoughts. What sermon would you give on a crucifix? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, moaning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hopefully, as we've pretended we're a priest in writing sermons and pretending we're giving explanations to our grandchildren and making up prayers. Our mind has wandered. We've been maybe a little creative. We've been a little casual. But we've thought of God. We've tried to know him better. We've tried to communicate with him and love him more. And there's a compulsion to pray. The Hail Marys are the background that sets the tone for us to pray. <laughs> 